and anything which will come in between the lasers we will get instant notification. Here you can see we got the location in our blink application laser is breached. And we also got it in our email alert laser breached and we will get the notification from anywhere in the world. Let's try it once more and you can see the floating notification comes almost instantly and the beeping sound is voila I love it. Ok so to make this project we will need LDR module. So I searched it on Amazon and it was pretty cheap. Then I opened it 214 for 5 pieces. Pretty cheap huh? But when I saw the reviews then it had some serious defects. Like you cannot use the sensor after 1 pm the sensor will think it will it is dark now and sunlight will interfere with the sensors and the room lights and all blah blah blah. So I thought why not make one and after searching the web I got this circuit but this circuit uses two transistors but I thought one will do. So I got this circuit but I don't had BC547 lying around so I downloaded the data sheet and from here I can see the alternative I have that BC548 so I will use it. So hello engineers to make this project I am using BC548 any NPN transistor you can use BC547 just the values of resistors and capacitors that I am using will differ and after this we will need the main part of this project the heart of this project the light dependent resistance this sensor will tell how much light is falling on it and will tell the transistor to regulate the voltage output and here I am using a 10k resistors and as I told you earlier if you are using a different transistors then your value may differ slightly you have to experiment with that we will also need a red LED for indication here I am using a 5mm and we will need a 4.2 volt lithium ion battery when fully charged it is 4.3 volts normally 3.7 volt here I am using a cheap 5 milliwatt class 2 laser Valentine version. <laughs> will you be my Valentine? No, I will reject you. And the lower button is for the lasers. As you can see, the laser is pretty weak. I will upgrade this later. And after so much of hard work and dedication, finally, I made this useless circuit. No, no, it's working. I'm just <laughs> sorry. So, this is the circuit I came up with. This circuit uses least number of components and this is the simplest circuit you can come up with a cup of brew coffee. <laughs> and for those who don't understand the schematic, here is a simpler version for you. And using these two circuits, even a 8 year kid can make this. 8 year old. Hmm? Then who the hell we are? You can either screenshot it or I will put the link in the description as always. And if you want to add something more powerful then you can add a relay. So here is our finalized circuit. I didn't make this on the PCB because this circuit is not worth for the PCB. <laughs> uh, it's a very simple circuit. You can just uh, wire one above the other and make it. Here the three wires are VCC, data and ground pin as we have normally in any sensor. So let's test it. I'm using a 3.7 volt battery to test it. Here is our fucking sensor I have not said that thing uh, so let's just point it on the LDR and it's off so our sensor is working pretty fine I know the laser is still weak I will upgrade the batteries and the circuit of the laser so after removing the resistors of the laser and adding more powerful batteries it is pretty strong you can see the gas from the or high <laughs> is making that beautiful line of the laser and here I'm using a microcontroller here we have a pretty old ESP8266 microcontroller here I have added some switch and battery to make this work standalone without the need to connect it to my PC and we will connect the sensor to a microcontroller and the connections are option A <laughs> not the KVC 
the connection the positive will connect to the win of the board negative to ground and data pin to any digital pin of the node mcu i am connecting here to d7 if you connect it to any else pin then change the change it from the code which i will talk about later the connections are done it's pretty simple you see here we will stick it using double sided tape and connect this to the computer to program this board i know you have a basic knowledge of arduino id and programming anyways i will put the i will put the code of the link sorry link of the code in the description as well download it from there and copy and paste to your id and install these libraries on your computer by going to the sketch include library and manage libraries and search for them and just install them here your auth token will be needed so that anyone else can't connect it to your board we will talk about this later you will receive this auth token in your gmail just copy it from there and paste it to your arduino ide do not share this code to anyone or else they will just bypass your sensor put here the credentials of a wifi your wifi name and password if you don't have a wifi then use your mobile hotspot to connect it to your board and after this you can see here we have defined some pins some led pins buzzer pin the buzzer it's optional you can either use it just connect it to the digital pin and ground pin you can change these pins if you want to select a different digital pin and these are the virtual pins which we will use in our blink applications and this is the email id which will in which we will get the notification so just change it to yours this which will be written is laser breach subject alert laser is breached you can change all these according to yourself After then select your board by going to tools and select your right board where ESP8266 I am selecting you may have for Vmos or version 1 2 you can select all these then select the right port and click the upload button and if you clicked on this video then you might like my other videos so subscribe to us and be a part of our family hey hey it's now compiling the sketch and it will upload soon so i will skip the part wait patiently it will take around 2 to 3 minutes and the upload has started and it's uploaded successfully so let's go on to the serial monitor and check if my board is connected to the blink server or not set your correct board rate and click the reset button on your board and you can see my IP address here here the board is connected to the blink server so open the blink app click on the new project give your project a name your pet name <laughs> here I have given laser security select the right board theme and click on create connection type will be this Wi-Fi and create here we have received the auth token in our gmail if you don't receive it then click on the hexagon part click on email all and again you will receive it so here we will add some widgets first i will add the led we will need three of them it's optional giving the led the virtual pins as v1 v2 and v3 as we specified in the code you can also give some colors to your leds to make it like fancy looks <laughs> after that click on the notification widget make the priority high to receive instant notification otherwise you will get a delayed notification here give your email id 
so that you will receive the notification in your email and you can also set the colors and text slash html select that after setting all these things let me just put this in right order and finally this is the part which you were waiting for here i have extracted the laser diode and att attached the battery using rubber <laughs> Rubber. So you can see when we press from the back side it will turn on and here I am using a clip to turn this on always I am not using a switch why I will invest in switch we are Indians man we do desi jugad <laughs> so I have focused the LED on the LDR I am opening the blink application click on the play button and you can see it's offline out right now because the board is off and the board which is on my and the switch which is on my board is short circuited so i have to turn it on and again off to see if it is working or not it's the switch fault i have short circuited it short circuited and the setup goes online and all the things are ready so let me just pass my finger and voila we got instant notification priority is high brother and we also received the notification in our gmail as subject alert and laser breached as we put on the code you can see it's working flawlessly whenever i passes the finger the floating the notification also comes if you give the permission to blink application for notifications as soon as I pass my finger over the sensor, I get instant notification in my Blink and Gmail applications. And it will also work if I move my finger fast. You can attach it to your door or mirror room with the help of mirrors that crisscross reflections to cover the entire area as seen in the movies. You have to cross the lasers as seen in Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise and many more spy movies so this is the thing they must have used you can see with these mirrors you can just make the reflections of the lasers and focus it on the LDR and cover the entire room or door you will get the notification from anywhere in the world and bye <laughs>